Hey YouTube, Jean here from Zero One Tech, and today's video is about the Nerf Rival Takedown, and I'm going to show you how to install some of the uh, some of the upgrade parts that I've made for this blaster. So I've already taken apart the blaster here, and I have removed all the screws. So it's going to be a very quick disassembly process. For those of you who have not taken them apart yet, uh, there's one thing to keep in mind is that this screw here is much tighter and longer than the rest of the screws. So when you're turning or backing it off, uh, make sure that you put down, put a lot of downward force so that you do not strip the head of the screw. All right, let's first start with the disassembly. You're gonna remove all the shell screws and the pump grip, the stock one comes off, which will give you access to the ones under here also make sure that your pro your blaster is not primed during disassembly and when you take yours apart it's going to uh, butterfly open and this piece here is going to say stay stuck to uh, this shell half so when you uh, need when you're installing the the pistol grip there are two tabs here on this side of the shell and there's two more on the other side that you're going to have to trim with a set uh, or cut with a set of trimmers such as like these ones here, or you could even use a hobby knife. So uh, before we get any further, we are going to talk about some of the tools you might want to use, such as a Phillips screwdriver, a flat, a long screwdriver. I'll show you where this will come in handy. Uh, the tip necessarily on this one's not important or as important. Uh, a hobby knife, because there will be some trimming and a set of cutters as well, which may come in handy. So to install the uh, ta the tactical takedown mods, uh, there's not much cutting to the shell. There's just a little bit of minor trimming. So there was the two the tabs over here, and uh, there's some trimming in around here. So once you remove the tabs, these two shell halves will come out, and then you'll want to take the the trigger out of this. Make sure when you take apart the, uh, the plunger tube, uh, well, just keep in mind how all of your locks go into place if you want to put them back in. There's one here that I have removed. Inside of this blaster, I've used the Pro RX spring from Foam Freaks, and this is a great spring that can be used in, a, in the Kronos and other uh, Springer rival blasters, and it's a very good heavy spring. I'm a big fan. It's what I use for my rival Springer mods. So there's a plunger tube assembly. There is one of your locks. There is your hopper or your your internal magazine and your barrel and then the barrel shroud attachment. So this I've uh, lost my hop up tab. Uh, I'm sure it's here somewhere, but make sure you don't lose your parts. So there's a couple of different uh, things we're going to install. We're going to install the pistol grip with various attachments uh, for the stock. And we're going to install the uh, Lariat takedown uh, pistol uh, pump grip, with the uh, which is the Valor edition with the textured insert. There are I also have on this blaster holes for the, uh, the ball rack and holes cut here for, uh, for the tactical rail. So we'll just go over some of the external mods or some of the quick easy ones. So when you order and get your tactical rail for the shell, this here is contoured uh, to this part of the shell. And so when you do your installation, make sure that you line it up and hold it in place. And then you can take a drill bit, like a hand drill, and drill down through. So you would line it up. Let's see, there we go. And then drill out your first hole. And then once you have that in place, you would then drill out your second. So these use M3 bolts, which uh, come included with it. And one thing to keep in mind when you install this is that you're above this rail here or this uh, internal fin, so it does not, so 
the installation of this does not interfere with the movement of the bolt sled. So here we go. So we're going to put the second screw or the rear screw in first. And I can't remember if they're M if they're eights or tens, but we're going to find out. And don't worry, when you order yours, yours will arrive with the right hardware. Yep, those are So these are eights that are in now. And I don't think those are going to be long enough. Yep, they're not. So we're going to jump up to 12s. Yeah, we'll just use this one instead. Something tells me they're tens though. So this will work on either side of the blaster. Uh, as the contour is the same, it's up to you which side you want to use them on. If you haven't noticed, one of the printers are probably, you can probably hear one in the background. That is the Tarantula Pro, which actually has a Delta Cade kit on it, the front end, in blue, in case you were wondering. So, it's through the hole. You see that? No, you can't. A set of pliers to hold the nuts in place. And by May, I mean we need a set of pliers. There we go. Another M3 nut. There. And that is how you would install the Picatinny rail on the outside, on the right side of the shell. So next we have the dart rack holder. This is one of the prototypes. The ones that you will be getting are contoured, so they cup the balls a little better. And when you install this, or actually original, on my original design, I had a rack that went here because it was flat. But that also interferes with the bolt sled movements inside. So you're going to match your contour up. There are holes and you just drill down through the holes. So hold it in place. Thing tells me that these screws are going to be too long. If 
These are my standard Nerf shell screws that I've used for the majority of my builds. There we go, one on. Then on to the next one. I swear I'm better at doing nerf mods than this. watching me fumble around with screws. Here, we're going to use this one here. Tapered tip. Just got to make sure that lines up. There. Ball rack is installed. So next will be the pistol grip. Here are the two halves here. When you get them, they will come pre-assembled. You will have to disassemble them. So there are three screws, shell screws, and then there are two uh, M4 times 30s that hold the stock accessory in place. So inside you are going to need your pistol grit or your trigger. I use a heavier spring, you don't have to, but I like the, uh, the trigger response or the feel of it. So just put that in there. You'll also notice when you install your kit the trigger pull is shortened. There we go. So you don't have as long of a draw. So you're going to assemble this part first. And it just drops into the blaster. So those of you who have ordered handle scales with your pistol grip, they will come pre-installed. So it's the same SDL or the same file that I print uh, or the same pistol grip that I print with or without the handle scales. So I will drill the holes, or line them up, drill the holes, install them on your pistol grip if that you have ordered them. There we go. So it's a much shorter draw, and this base, this just drops right in. Line up your holes here and here. And it just drops in. All right, so when you install your kit, you're going to need to trim in around here to get a decent, a really good fit. So we're going to close up the shells so you can take a look. So I need to trim mine up a bit. There's a bit of a gap there at the top, but the bottom closes up quite nicely. And that's basically the pistol grip install. So we're going to keep working away, we're going to put the rest of the components in. So you have your front end, your front plate, this drops in, make sure that you still have your hop-up tab, I'm sure I'll design one uh, to replace the one that I've lost. You have your magazine, your bolt sled, All right, so this needs to be pushed in. It's a little tricky to get everything to line up nicely, especially with that heavier Pro RX spring. And then that drops in. So that long screwdriver that I said you should get, here it is. So I'm going to push down on the bolt sled or on the plunger rod here so that keeps everything in alignment. 
And that will allow you to put the shell back on. All right, I swear it's much easier than what I'm making it look like. Ah, there's our issue there. There's your, uh, your catch or one of your locks. That was out of alignment. So when you put this in, make sure it's all I actually, uh, I'm, not, I'm gonna put the, uh, the lock back in. Totally up to you, if you wanna put the locks in or not. There we go. So line up your plunger tube, make sure your tab here is in alignment. And let's see how many, there we go. That's it, peeps. I'm just gonna throw my sight on over top to help keep the shell halves together. All right, for the amount of times I've had this taken apart and put back together during all the prototyping, it's uh, it's quite a bit. I should, be, I should have not put a notch in the shell for every time that I've done that. There's a lot of iterations and a lot of uh, a lot of printing and designing that went into the pistol into the pistol grip and the pump grip. So one, two. So one thing you're going to keep in mind when you are reassembling, also pay attention to where your screws go. It's going to be a little tricky to get the top one in here, so you're going to have to angle in your screwdriver on that one. I'm just using, yeah, I'm just using whatever screws I have handy. The ones on top are a little bit shorter. I'll see if we can just dig around and find those. Here's a box of screws and whatnot. Here's a short one. Nope, that one's too small. So for testing purposes, we are not going to put in all the screws. Just enough to get the job done, so we can do a test firing. And the important one right back here. There. That should be enough. So we're going to continue with the, the pistol grip mods. So there are three different attachments that you can get. There is the uh, the cap, tube cap is what I call it. And so there's just a lanyard point here. And this is the, what comes with the pistol grip now. There's been previous orders which you, which you in which these were not available. But that's what comes with the pistol grip. There is a Nerf stock attachment in which you can put compatible uh, Nerf stocks. Of course, they come out worker ones are quite snug which is nice not much wiggle and then the buffer tube is the, uh, it's the one that I like it's a nice clean look it was designed to go with this one and so there are two uh, 4m or m4 30 millimeter screws that go in here to make sure doesn't matter which accessory you put in they go in and they secure the your uh, stock attachment to the shell Okay, so next we're going to do the handle scales. As I said, these come pre-installed, so you will have to take them off. I line them up with the contours, and I use uh, M2.6 uh, times 8 millimeter screws. Here's my container of them. that over. This 
That's where I need better lighting too. All in due time. All in due time. There we go. And one more to go on the handle scales. So they are textured to match the uh, pump grip. Of course you can get them printed in whatever color you would like. If you're wondering what type of filament I use, I mostly use uh, AMZ 3D or Maze 3D. Uh, I get it off of Amazon. It's, I've gotten very good results with it. And it's not the most expensive, it's not the cheapest, but it's consistent. No clogs, not that I'm plugging it, but that's uh, in case you want to do some color matching, that's what I use. Alright, that's the pistol grip here with the scales. I have a three slot Picatinny rail that I made and put on, and this is for sling point. So, next is the pump grip. So in my design, uh, I've used a M4 or 4M times 12 uh, screw to interface with the bolt sled. And these will come pre-assembled as well. There we go. They just drop in and you will need, or I will need because I don't have them handy. Here we go. These long screws here which screw right into the bolt sled. Or an M2.6 times 12. Tapered tip. In case you ever need or want to order any for yourself. That's one side. Just drops right in. Here is the other side. There are three screws that hold the two shell or the two pit pump grip halves together. I'm just going to be lazy and throw just one in. Hurry things along. And then the insert drops right in. I'm going to tighten this up a bit more. So when you order the pump, the pump grip, all the screws will be in place. It is actually disassembled, just to help facilitate with packaging and shipping. So the same screws that we've used for the handle scales are the ones that go into the uh, this insert for the pump grip. The, uh, the Valor Edition, so it was actually uh, Joshua from Valor's Blasters that came up with the idea of doing a textured insert. We actually talked about using fuzzy mode on uh, Cura, which is a 3D printing slicer to make the texture. But I found that the inside of the, uh, the the insert was a little too rough to get it, and the edges were rough as well. So you wouldn't get the nice clean fit, or consistent clean fit, as you would if you uh, added the texture yourself, or myself. And of course you can buy extra inserts if you want to change it up. There we go. That's the kit here all neatly installed. Uh, the next thing is a stock. Uh, this is the breacher stock that I make and sell. It's just a low profile stock uh, and then it comes with a nut there. We see yeah, it slides right over and goes on and with the uh, thumb screw that it comes with you can just tighten it down yourself or actually quickly remove it. Uh, but yeah there you have it. I'm going to grab some rival rounds There we go, I just have a box lying around. A 
and we'll prime back. There you go. Two. So I've been getting about 140 FPS uh, with the uh, Pro RX spring. Make sure you get yours from Foam Freaks. They're on Etsy. There we go. And I'm just going to throw my sling point on. Not that I'm going to be using it. There. So here we go. Yeah, fun finding those in the shop, but there you have it. Test firing with the Pro RX spring. Get rid of one last round. So that's it. That's the install of the uh, tactical takedown pistol grip, uh, the dart rack holder, or the uh, the ball round holder, the uh, Picatinny rail, and the, the pump grip. Uh, that's it for today. If you want to get your own, check me out on Etsy, uh, zero one tech x e r o one t e c. Uh, that's the shop name. The links will be in the description below. Also, if you want to check out my website, uh, which is which, which is zero one tech.com. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video and you like the work that I do, uh, hit subscribe, like the video. That would be great. If you want to support me, hey, just buy some stuff. Uh, thank you for watching, and there will be more videos to come.